Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Today I'd like to share with you a video from a recent trip we took to Jihai in the southern New South Wales Snow Mountains. It's pretty close to the Victorian border. Uh, it's tucked away between a little town called Cancoban and Threadbow. So Jihai Flats Campground has a large flat grassy area on the banks of the Swampy Plains River and very beautiful little area. The camp campground is accessible in two-wheel drive vehicles if you drive through the Jihai Rest Area some vehicles. Uh, so just check the conditions at the time, uh, especially if you want to go there winter time. I would really strongly advise not doing it that time of year. Apart from being too cold, it's too hard to get into and it's probably closed unless you've got chains and those sorts of things. So stick to the uh, warmer months of the year. So this location uh, is perfect for picnics. It's also a great place as a base camp or set your camper up for caravanning, camping, great views of the soaring alpine peaks, the snow mountains, the backdrops. It's just great if you just want to stop and uh, have a bit of a few days over, relax around a campfire. Right, for those that want to do a little bit more exploring in the area, uh, it's great for hiking, mountain biking, fishing, four-wheel driving adventures in the southern Kosciuszko National Park. Cancoban is home to many of the Kosciuszko National Park's historic huts. These huts were built as shelters for a walk uh, or a long trek, some of these upwards of uh, 8K, especially the return Jihai Huts walk. Uh, you can also uh, take uh, your four-wheel drive, but be prepared. There's several uh, river crossings as well. The camp itself, it offers a pit style toilet there's no showers so you'll need to be able to bring your own showers water and or good filtration uh, systems even though the water looks clear it does uh, pose some sorts of health issues for things like yardy and that sort of stuff so please use proper uh, purification if you are going to be taken out of those creeks right let's uh, look at some of the uh, wildlife around the area so snow mountains has uh, a plethora of beautiful plants and animals uh, that you can See so, uh, if you just take the time to stop and have a bit of a look for a while. A lot of these animals are night dwellers. Um, they come out at night to feed, So, uh, and others you have to be very quiet to see. So some of the things you'll get to see, obviously, are like the common wombat. Uh, you'll see the brush-tailed possum and the common ring-tailed possum. There's also emus, and for those that uh, aren't from Australia, we'll get to see the only two uh, monotremes, which are the platypus, and the short beaked echidna. Okay, uh, back to camping in this area. First thing you're gonna need is uh, National Parks access. So you can uh, get that by booking through uh, National Parks Centre. And you'll also need to book a campsite and the campsites work out, it's about a dollar a day, not much at all. So that's essential. <clears throat> now in summertime, we're in autumn as we are now, pretty close to winter, but we're in autumn at the moment. You can see that, um, this area is easily two wheel drive access to any amount of ruse out here. I wonder if that was the old landing strip coming through where they're standing. Possibly. It's a pretty flat run. Yeah. Well, this is where um, up in 68 would have been, 1968, the Snow Mountains Beaver used to come in here, or 66 to 68, and then after that they replaced those with um, Pilatus Porters. Both of them had the registration Sierra Mike Alpha and Sierra Mike Bravo. Interesting that for the Snow Mountains they always used SMA and SMB for their first two designators. Show people that this is the um, the G High, one of the G High campgrounds. Yep, another trawler over there. And you need some pretty good gear to be camping up here anyway in winter time. How you going, buddy? walking trail around here too. Show you what the, um, the area is like. Um, so you can see lots of campgrounds around here. Very picturesque spot during during the summer. Um, now as I said in our very very first introduction video when we talked about free camping, uh, free camping in the snowies is an example of a limited uh, a limited cost so um, it still costs your park entrance fees and it still costs you I think it's a couple eight, of bucks eight, eighteen dollars a day for national parks yeah yep. unless you're a pension pensioner or a veteran or a veterans gold card holder and then you have to apply a few weeks beforehand um, 
to get a free pass, which lasts for 12 months. Victorians, it can be a bit awkward. Anna here's at the uh, Kosciuszko National Parks Office in Concobin. Uh, we'll help you out with a bit of a cheat sheet to exactly get the Victorian. Big shout out lines. to Alana. She was absolutely incredibly helpful. We have to take a few screenshots from several different parts of the Vic Roads uh, website to comply with their requirements. Yeah, swampy plains. A swampy plains, righty eh? Um, it's quite deep water. It's crystal clear. Yeah, this is beautiful water. Now, previously we've mentioned about dragon water and stuff out of these locations. This is pretty good looking water. I think for the most part uh, you'd be safe dragging this out with um, at least uh, you know, five in one you'd be pretty safe. But I think this water's pretty good. I can't guarantee that without taking a water sample. But the water here is beautiful. It's full of marine life. And if just looking through here you can see that even see the odd fish bouncing up here on the surface. We've got lots of different types of trout. High Mountains is renowned for rainbow and brown trout. So see, uh, this is the G High Flats day area and where we were about, uh, it's about 800 metres down, we've got the uh, camping area down there further. As you come across, you can see nice little facilities, tables and chairs, there's a nice little uh, stone area for barbecues. 